Hi guys, welcome back. So I just wanna to touch upon HX. Remember how I traded it before, like anticipating the drop? So I traded it here, but it wasn't on its red day. And what it did on its red day, which was yesterday, is it flopped from 25 to eight. So this is the importance of me as a short seller getting in on the first red day instead of anticipating. So when I saw the daily chart of fun, like totally, up into the sky, you know, spiking. Um, my first reaction as a trader, as a short seller is, oh, this is a beautiful mountaintop. I just want to ride the wave down just like on HX. Um, and the danger of these insane situations is the drop, right? But for a short seller, the danger of this situation is it could continue spiking. But, you know, it was up like a thousand percent and I never know how far it's going to go. Yada, yada, shmada, shmadu, but it's green on the day. As a short seller, I don't want to touch anything that's green on the day. However, I did see it wavering in the 24, 23s, but it dropped so quickly I couldn't get my order in and then it halted. And then it opened instead of at instead of 18 where it got halted, it opened all the way at pretty much seven. So when this started bouncing off of pretty much pre-market high levels um, and where it orig originally spiked from, I saw this as a dip by opportunity. We just crashed from 24 all the way to seven. That's a let's do math, Liz. Um, do, 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 do. I need my calculator. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm not good at fucking counting shit, okay? Hang on. 24 minus 7. $17 drop. So I was like, it's got to bounce a little something. And it's funny because my initial reaction is, I'm a short seller. I want to short this. But through all the mistakes that I've made in my trading career, I know when something drops a lot, it's got to bounce a little bit. And my plan was correct. I got in here at 889 and I decided to take profits and I pretty much judged the top. It's funny because this is where it got halted the second time and it became this kind of resistance barrier. So I was like, I don't want to be greedy all on Twitter and everywhere. It's like, this is going to the moon. This is going to the moon. But what I want to practice is can I take the meat of the move of a trade um, you know, there are things that go to the moon, but nothing stays at the moon. So I'd rather just take a piece on the way to the moon, if that makes sense. So I thought that I executed this really well. I saw the dip by opportunity and I'm, I'm a short seller. So the fact that I'm going long and made a $5 gain is blows my mind, but it's all about like, you know, uh, checking your instincts and then seeing, uh, like instead of just going with my instincts of like, oh, I want to short this. It's like, what is actually happening here? So I was able to check myself instead of being a greedy short seller and be like, no, this looks like a buy opportunity because of all the hype on Twitter and all this stuff. So I got out at 1351. That's a beautiful move. Beautiful. Round of applause, Liz. Good for you, girl. And I actually bought borrows on this so that I could short it when it was up here. I was waiting for the crack to happen. And I bought borrows. They cost, at first they cost $46 over here. Then they cost like $19 over here. And then it became $8 over here. So I already bought them over here. So I was holding them like looking for a short opportunity. And I just, you know, this was too fast for me. Then it got halted and then it opened up over here. Like there was no time to short. Everything is too fast. So... And on top of that, like the moves that I saw going from like 14 to 19 in the blink of an eye, it's very scary for a short seller. So I kind of have both perspectives, but I was really proud of my move. Um, and I was just like, I don't want to be greedy. I want to take my little position. And that's it. I only had 10 shares. So I made $46.10. I made back my borrow fees and I made 20 bucks because my journey here is not to, you know, squeeze out a million dollars from fun. I want to practice my execution as a trader. And I, and I really, I got to applaud myself on this one. Really good. Good job, Liz. And that's the only trade that I have, because if you're under PDT, you only have three day trades. And I used uh, two of them on HX, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, I think it was the day before Wednesday. So that's it for me. But this is a great 
executed trade for me. The fact that I went against my initial instincts of a short seller and didn't fumble the ball trying to short here, because where is it going to go? Things just don't fall forever. They bounce. So I love how I timed the bounce, and I love how I got out right at the reversal. Like, fucking beautiful, Liz. Beautiful. <laughs> but I'm way too scared to trade this with size, obviously. But I'm really proud of myself that I did this. Anyway, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. It helps my channel, and I will see you guys next time. By the way, peep the volume. This is a lot of fucking volume. Okay, bye. <laughs>